Hello, welcome once again. I uh, wanted to go over the symbols for switches because I received some comments that they are very confusing to uh, viewers, and believe me, they can be. So a few exercises in, in those uh, symbols. The, the, the popular ignition switch that we have. The rule is wherever this meets this line, this is a connection. Whenever this switch is toggled to meet this, that's when you have a connection. So what does this take to make this into a connection? This is now in the locks position. There is no line, no wire over here or connection. And this one, no off position, nothing. This one, nothing. This one, nothing. The only one that gives you a connection is in the start position. Why? Because you see there's a connection. This is a wire, a connector. How many more positions do I have to toggle this to get to here? This will go one position, two position, three position, four positions. Four positions I have to toggle this <clears throat> to, to put this in the start position. So let's draw it in so you'll understand it. This, instead of being over here, will be right here. Right here. <clears throat> this will be in the start position. This is here. This is at the rest position, non-activated. When you activate it, in order to get a connection connected to this, to this, whatever this is connected to, this has to be in this position. So at the rest position, is the brown wire connected to in a start position? The answer should be no. Once I put the ignition key and I turn it in a start position, this brown wire through this connector will be connected to wherever this point goes. Let's try another one. In the rest position over here, is this open or closed? The answer is it's open. So once I toggle the switch or activate the switch, I will be closing it. So in that position, once I toggle it, it will be like this. Okay, this will move from here to here. This has no connector. Therefore, there's no connection here. The connector is here. So if I, if I ask you, in the rest position, the normal rest position, is the purple and white striped wire connected to the yellow wire? Your answer should be no. When I activate this park neutral position switch in either park or neutral, is the purple wire with the white stripe connected to the yellow? Your answer should be yes. Then you toggle this, then you'll make a connection from here to here. Let's try another one. In this rest position, is the purple wire connected to the purple and white striped wire? Your answer should be no, it is open. When I activate it, is the purple wire connected to the purple and white striped wire? Your answer should be yes. You will toggle it. Now you're connected to this. Let's take this one. These are for the headlamps. How many pos possible positions do you have? One, two, three, three positions. In the auto, do you have any connector going here? First of all, where do we start? Let's say whatever this is connected to, B plus or relay probably, it will be connected to here, to here. Now, the problem is what happens between here and here? There is an open. You don't see any wire here. We have to try to get to this point. This point has to try to get to this point to complete the circuit. How does it do that? By toggling this switch. When you move this switch. So the headlamps could be here. A relay could be here. A B plus, whatever. You toggle this one. The auto position means when you first, when you turn on the, the key, sometimes the lights come on automatic. Daytime running lights or whatever you have. In the parking lamp position, the parking lights come on. In the headlamp position, the headlamps should come on. So... Which one of these has a connection? Only the headlamp position. How do I know that? Look, there's only a line connected here, a wire connected here. No wire connected here. No wire connected here. So let's draw it in. Okay. Now, do we have a complete path? Your answer should be yes. Is the white wire connected to the orange wire? Your answer should be yes. Why? Because we just toggled it two positions. 
the relay is here through a, con a white wire connector coming here through the switch which I activated in this position for the headlamps. So therefore, now the orange wire goes to wherever it's supposed to go to. So if I ask you, if you activate this switch in the park lamp, park light position, is the white wire connected to the orange wire? Your answer should be no, because there is no connection in the park. In which position is the white wire connected to the orange wire? Your answer should be only one answer, only in the headlamp position. Okay. Same thing over here. This is an LED. Okay. Now, what will it take to activate this LED? Well, as you see, an orange wire over here. You have this. This is open right now. No connection. And this goes to the LED. So basically, the LED, which is a purple wire, which is a light emitting die, which is a... Oh, you see the little LEDs, uh, they're all over. They, they give you a, a display or a illumination that you activated a switch or something is on in your car or anything for that matter. The purple wire over here, current flows here. It would like to flow over here. But at the rest position, this is open. So we activate, we close the switch. When we close the switch, what are we doing? Now, the current flows here through here through here it has a path this was open now we toggled it we activated it now we can go from here to here so when i toggle the switch is the purple wire connected through an led to the orange wire your answer should be yes how do i know how do i know that because we current can flow here through this connector through this led through here, through the switch, through the orange wire. These are for the fog lamps, as you can see. Now it could be for door. A switch can be for doors. When the door is open, when the door is when the door is open, obviously in in your van or whatever vehicle you're driving. In this position, this is the rest position. Is this open or closed? This is an open switch. When you open the door, this closes. This goes to another circuit. It's just the opposite. In this rest position, if I ask you, the door is closed in your van. Is the orange wire connected to the black wire? Your answer should be no. There is no connection. When will it be? Okay. Now, I open the door. Is the orange wire connected to the black wire? Your answer should be yes. Yes. You just, you just activated the switch to close the circuit. So now this will go to an LED or whatever in your dashboard telling you, boom, uh, driver door open, passenger door open, cargo door open. That's what's going on. So I hope you're getting the, the hang of it. I hope you're getting the hang of it. Go through a few more. I think this is the same as the other ones. Uh, also for another uh, door. So no reason to go with that one. Let's go over these difficult ones over here. Okay, sometimes if you have a a, a, a SUV or or a, a van, <clears throat> the the window opens in the back to let so you could load things into the into in, into the back into the trunk. In the normal in normal situation. This is at rest. That means it's open. No connection from here to here. Once I open up the glass, guess what? An indication to the driver will go on. It's, I guess they call it lift glass, a jar switch. So therefore, the pink black wire will now be connected to the black wire. Why? Because you just activated this switch to tell the driver that window in the back of the SUV is open. Somebody is taking, somebody has opened the trunk. Let's take the most, the most difficult one. If you understand this, you'll understand the whole point of this video after nine minutes that I've just done. Now, rear wiper washer. These are, these are the washer and wiper circuits. They move simultaneously together. 
Whenever you see this, we always have this in what symbol in the relay. This would be a coil, this would be the load side. So therefore, this shows you in this position, the off position. In this, if this is at one, two, four terminals, terminal this one will be in the off position. Terminal this one will be in the P1 position. Terminal this one will be P2. Terminal this one will be in wash. Now, as this is moving, you see this gang together? That means this is also moving one spot. In other words, if I move from off to P1, where is this going? This is also going from off to P1. If I'm moving from off to P2, I'm going this way. What's he doing? Off to P2 also. He's moving to two places. If I'm going to wash, and that one I'll draw in so you understand that. I move three positions. One, two, three. What's he doing? He's, mo he's moving also. One, two, three. He's also now in the wash position. Why? How do I know this? Because they're ganged together. This tells me he moves, he moves. He doesn't move, he doesn't move. They're like Siamese twins. One moves, the other one moves. So, wherever this is connected to the yellow line, and wherever this is connected to, and wherever this is connected to, do I have a, a complete circuit right now? <coughs> Let's look at it. Let's look at it. A little tricky. In this circuit over here, we said we just moved from off to wash. Off to wash. Which one of these in the wash position will give me a complete circuit? Let's call this uh, B1 and let's call this B2. The question arises again. And this is what the viewer was confused about when he sent me all the comments. In this wash position over here, which one is connected in the wash position to the circuit? Your answer should be B1. Why? Why not B2? Do you see anything connected in this position to B2? To the wash position? Nothing. There is no line. There is only a line here. So only this one will work. Only B1 will work to a complete path. So the question, is yellow connected to dark green or dark green with a white stripe? Yes, only in the wash position for B1. How do I connect B2 to the circuit? How can I connect yellow to the gray wire for B2? You know how? You have two choices. You have P1 position and you have the P2. Let's draw that in. Well, let me take a different color <sighs> magic marker. Okay. Now, there is a connection here. There is a connection here. No connection here. No connection here. Let's draw, let's draw this one. Okay. This is in green. Now, what happened? This moved one position. What did we say? If he moves, he moves. So where is this one now? This one is in this position. Okay? He's in the P1 position. He's in the P1 position. He's in the P2 position. He's in the P2 position. He's in the wash position. He's in the wash position. The only difference is where the connections are. So for B2, B2, this one, is yellow connected to the gray in the P1 position? Your answer should be yes. Let's take in another one. The final one, P2. P2, and this is the green. P2, is there a connection from the yellow through a resistor to the gray? Your answer should be yes. But when he was in the P2 position, what happened to him? He also went moved to the P2. What about B1? Is, is, is this yellow connected? to the dark green wire in the P2 position? Your answer should be no. There is no connector here. Only one that will give me a connection from yellow to dark green or the dark green with the white stripe is in the white wash position. For this, it's the opposite. No wash position, but the P2 and the P1. This could be like a, 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 a wiper washer switches are very complicated. They're very confusing. Like like I had comments from many people. They are very confusing how how they work. However, this could be like a, a wiper motor 
Sometimes you have it like a low, sometimes you have an intermittent, sometimes you have a high. That's what probably P1 and P2 stands for. But nevertheless, the, the, the concept, the theory does not change. You still need low, high speed, intermittent speed when it comes to wipers. All this, what does this represent? It's in a unit. So if you want to change one, you change the whole thing. So again, is yellow connected to dark green in the off position? You should say no. Is yellow connected to dark green in the wash position? Your answer should be yes, definitely yes. Is, <clears throat> is yellow connected to the gray wire in the wash position? Your answer should be absolutely no, no connection. Is yellow connected to the gray wire in a P2 position? Through a straight wire or through a resistor? Your answer should be a resistor. In the P2 position, there is a resistor. That means I will lose voltage. That means the speed will decrease. In a P1 position, what will happen to the speed? Well, I'm going right through wherever this connected to, probably the motor, the wiper motor. Therefore, I have, do you see a resistor here? No, I only have a resistor here. What does that mean? That means I have less resistance. What does that mean? More voltage will go to the motor. If more voltage goes to the motor, will the speed of the motor increase or decrease as compared to this position? Your answer should be, it should increase. I have less resistance, less voltage drop across here, more voltage to the motor. There are many videos that I make about that you can watch that. I hope this was instrumental to this. And if you see, we, have, we always use these things. We just talked about ignition switch, correct? For beginners, just learning out, just concentrate on one thing. Where do I have a connection? Where do I not have a connection? Oh, see, we just discussed a, a, a gang switch as a wiper motor. Look at this. See this? What does this display to you? All three of these are ganged together. This moves, this moves, this moves. They all move simultaneously. What moves? This, the switch. When I move the switch in this one to reverse, from park to reverse, what am I doing to these? This is going from park to reverse. This is going from park to reverse. When I'm going from park to drive, what am I doing to these two? I'm going from park to drive. That means he's going from park to drive. He's going from park to drive. They all move simultaneously. Where will the connection be for this one? If we, uh, the only con your answer should be. In the re in over here, the reverse is a connector. In the drive, there is a connection. Neutral, there is no connection. D3, no connection. Two, no connection. What about this one? Where do you see a connection? In the drive and the D3. And the two and the one. First gear and second gear. What about this? In the neutral, you see a... Uh, that's the only one that will activate this one is the neutral. Why? Because this is going to the starting charging system. Why? The starting system, you have to be in the park or neutral. That means I have to be in park or neutral. That's why there is a connection in the neutral or the park. Transmission range switch that we talked about. So, also the switch. We said once it's, once it's at rest, once it's open. Right now, it's going to ground wherever this is going to. Once you activate it, it'll be open. Just the opposite. This is the rest position. This is a complete path. Once we activate it, it'll go high, not connected to ground anymore. So as you see, the examples that I just gave you are used in the schematics that we do all the time. It's a, Like I said, it's a tough topic to understand, symbols, but if you understand it and you go over it, any questions, just leave on the, leave on the comments. Please go to my uh, a channel, Joe, Electronic Schematics for Order. You'll see some more videos, obviously, and some hands-on how to measure relay. And very important to do battery low tests. If you don't know if your battery is good or not, you're wasting your money getting a new one. Just get a low tester, maybe $30, $40, low test it. And then you really understand if your battery is good or not. Go to my other channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics for Joseph, which I'm trying to get monetized. So... If this was informative, if this was teaching or gave you knowledge after 19 minutes of this video and you came out with some knowledge or you understand symbols or wiring diagrams or whatever, please give me a like and subscribe. Thank you for your 
uh, uh, patience.